presented by Church Tech U, it's the Pro Presenter Show. On today's show, how to use the new updated timeline in ProPresenter 7.10 and newer. Hi and welcome again to the ProPresenter Show. This is the show where I help you learn all about ProPresenter. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. And before we get started, if you've ever wanted to do multiple things during the timeline other than just switching slides, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. So you might know that I made a tutorial earlier um, about how to use the timeline. And if you've got an older version of ProPresenter, that's the one that you should look at. Well, older version of ProPresenter 7. But if you've got 7.10 or newer, this is the one that you should look at because it's got a lot more capabilities. And so I don't want you to be confused that it looks different and does different things. So let's head over to my computer and take a look. So here we are in Pro 7, and let's just go down here to say Amazing Grace here. We have uh, all these icons right here. This is the one that we need to click on, Timeline. So I'm going to click on it, and you'll notice that I've got several things that were not there initially. So uh, the first thing I have is I have these uh, different cues for when to switch between uh, verses, etc., I've got this, which looks a lot like the media uh, layer icon, and that's because that's what it does. Then I've got this one for audio, and then I've got another one that is just like a settings or something. What? So let me show you what all this is, and we'll talk about how to, uh, how to use it. So let me first go through, and I'm going to delete some of this stuff just because I want to start fresh with you so that you can see exactly what we're talking about. Okay, so here we are, starting fresh, ready to go. Uh, notice that I can also check a thing right here where uh, time code would be enabled for this as well. So let's go ahead and let's record through this let's pretend like i've got an audio track here or i'm just practicing along with the worship team as they're going doesn't matter um, first thing i'm going to want to do is record this so i'm going to click record and we're going to start off with the first slide here and then just go through these from time to time and do like that. Oh, sorry, I forgot to actually start it. So let's go back here to the very beginning and start the recording. Okay, so we start there and then I add this verse cue. Notice that it thinks, okay, for the entire duration, I'm going to stay on this one. Well, it will until I switch to that one. And let's say I do that one, and then I do that one. That's good enough for you to show what it does. So I'm going to undo that and go back here, and we can watch it play automatically. Notice no hands as it switches between stuff. Cool feature in and of itself. That's basically where we left off with older versions of ProPresenter. You would have an audio track playing and then it would automatically switch between these. And you can uh, tweak the timing for those by um, just basically clicking on it and dragging it however it makes sense to do. You know, drag the playhead Okay, less dragging, more just watching until it gets to where you want it to go, etc. Okay, basic. But what if you want media to change at different times, and not necessarily on the slide change, which you could easily do by dragging it up here, but in between slide changes? So this might be uh, particularly good if you got to a blank one and you wanted it to start with 
one piece of media and then partway through a chorus or partway through an instrumental, yeah, that's probably a better way, partway through the instrumental, it would change again. So what we can do is we can now add media at different times during that. So I can just drag that up here to where the media is, and I can line that up with exactly where I want it to go. Notice as I'm dragging, it tells me exactly where that is. And let's say I then want to change this one further on down the line. There we go. So I can do media changes as well. Can also do song changes if that makes sense to do. But what about this? What does this do? This enables you to add either macros or action. So you can do something just as simple as this and just drag it and it will uh, when it gets to that it will fire that particular macro or I could right click wherever I want it and add another action so let's say that I have a singer that sings just with this verse and wants the stage screen to look a little bit different you can do that and then you can Stay, uh, change the stage screen layout to the preferred layout of this particular singer. And then when it goes back to someone else, you can change it back. So let's say that. So that would happen automatically. And if we hop down here and look at this stage screen and I start it playing it should be that we see that it changes unless it's already on that so and you saw the lighting change that's actually something that's built in to uh, this media so that is something that I'll go over in a future tutorial, but that's just a little bit of a tease. Although you could absolutely do a lighting change uh, down here. So not necessarily in the media itself, but at a certain time in this particular timeline. So that is, that is all about how to use the new timeline in ProPresenter 7.10. If you like this content, you'd probably like my ProPresenter 7 Quick Start course, so head on over to tdm.fyi slash pro, the number 7, and quick. Give me your name and email address so that I can make a login for you, and then you can take that class for free. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford from TrinityDigitalMedia.com and ChurchTechU.com reminding you to go out and change eternity.